Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Kate and this is your active flexibility power yoga class. We're going to have a really fun time on the mat today. So let me tell you a little bit about active flexibility. We have passive stretches and active stretches. A passive stretch example would be splits on the mat. An active variation of that would be standing splits where you're engaging your core and your glutes and your hamstrings to stretch deeper into the splits without the use of gravity or the floor to help you. So this is going to be a really powerful class and active flexibility is one of the best ways to deepen your flexibility quickly and safely. What you will need for this class is a block, have one nearby. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can get past it and a strap. And if you don't have a strap, a towel works perfectly fine or anything that you can have between your arms. And if you practice this class and you like it, give it a loving thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know how it goes and subscribe if you wanna practice more yoga together. But when you're ready for this empowering class, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, all right, friends. We are gonna get started in today's class lying on our back. So get set up. You can keep the bottom of your feet flat on the floor. And before we move anywhere or even fully arrive, lengthen through the spine. So maybe you walk your shoulders up a few inches and elongate through the neck. Maybe you just got an inch taller. Nice. And then we'll float our right leg up, float our left leg up. And you can have a bend in your knees here, however you wanna make this comfortable for you. An option to place your right hand on your navel and your left hand on your heart. And we'll just tap into our breath. Maybe you gently close the eyes down. Bring your attention to your jaw and release it. Let it drop open. Let it drop open a little more. And a little more. Release the shoulders onto the mat. Relax the eyebrows. And then really gently bring your attention to the rising and falling of your chest and stomach. You don't need to try hard here. You don't need to change anything. We're just attuning to our breath. Now breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Two more times, just like that, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Last time, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then seal the, hip, the lips, and inhale and exhale through the nose. Start to elongate your inhales. Draw them a little bit deeper. And elongate your exhales by constricting the back of your throat. Beautiful, maybe in this moment you send an intention for your practice knowing that this is going to be a fairly powerful practice. Maybe you encourage yourself. Maybe you believe in yourself. Maybe you 
acknowledge when you need to come out and take a child's pose and not push yourself too hard. Go ahead and pick an intention for this practice. And then we'll take a breath together to seal it. So big inhale through the nose. Slight pause at the top, hold it. And exhale through the nose. Beautiful. You can blink your eyes open or keep them shut. And we're going to flex our foot, so bring your toes back. Face them, point them towards your face and stretch your heels up towards the ceiling. Already you should feel that maybe in your core, definitely your hamstrings, your calves, your Achilles tendon, your plantar fascia, which is the muscles in your arches, your digital slips, which are the muscles in your toes. Reach your heels up. See if you can engage your core to reach them a little bit higher. Keep your steady breathing. For three. For two, reach a little bit higher. Flex your toes back towards your face a little bit more. For one. And then we'll take six or seven roll-ups. So tuck your knees into your chest and roll up halfway, not all the way. And then roll back. Roll up and roll back. We're just getting used to some movement. We're engaging our core. It's also kind of fun. And on your next roll up, stay halfway. Don't let your feet touch the mat. Engage the core, boat pose, navasana. So keep the knees bent or straight, but we're just warming up and then reach your hands out long. Engage the core, so navel in towards your spine. Bring your left hand over to your right and then touch the ground. Reset the hands. Bring your right hand over to your left and touch the ground. Reset the hands. Bring the left hand over to the right, touch the ground. Reset. The right hand over to the left, touch the ground. Reset, hold for three. Bring the knees into the chest a little bit more for two. A little bit more for one. And release, easy seat, take a breather. And we'll grab our strap. <clears throat> and I'm going to get a little bit more height for this posture. So I'm going to come on my knees, take toes pose where my toes are tucked. Grab my strap. I'm going to bind it up a little bit so that the end of the strap isn't flailing everywhere. And we're going to get into our shoulders, our chest, and our back. So. Keep your arms straight this entire time. You can change the width to be wider or narrower based on what is comfortable for you. Let your strap rest taut on your hamstrings. Keep the ribs knitted in here. And then inhale your strap overhead at the top, pause, shrug up, and then exhale your strap behind your back. Maybe you only go down a little bit, maybe you can go down all the way. Then inhale it up. Shrug at the top, exhale down to your thighs. Inhale up, shrug at the top, exhale behind you. You can have the strap pretty open here in order to make the round, but inhale it up, strap, shrug at the top, and then exhale forward. With your breath now, always inhaling up, and exhaling down. Remember to keep the ribs in here. And often on the back, there's this point where the shoulders rotate and you kind of want to rush through it, but try to move very slowly, very mindfully here. And again, if you need to open up the strap a little bit more, that is totally fine. Pause at the top the next time you're there. And I'll face the camera so you can see. And we're going to draw a bubble around ourselves. So dip your right arm to the right side. And then the left arm to the left side. To the right. 
I'm gonna fix my strap here. And to the left, keep the ribs in, keep the arms straight, just a different sensation, getting into our shoulders, breathe. Beautiful. Now you can stay doing this or the first motion that we did, or you can take this one, which is a little bit more intense, where you come back behind you, right where the tension is in your back, where your shoulder blades kind of roll over each other, and then we're gonna take rows here. Just like we're rowing a boat, we're gonna come down and up and around, really getting into our back, our chest, our shoulders, for three, two, one, beautiful. Reset all the way to the beginning. And take your strap and set it off to the side. We'll take a pipe pose at the back of our mat. So legs out straight, they can also be bent if that's comfortable for you. We're gonna grab our block for this one and place our block on the medium level outside of our left ankle. So we're gonna be getting into the core here and the legs. Inhale to a long spine. Try to keep this 90 degree angle with the top of your body and the low of your body. Point the feet and then pick your left foot up, lift it over the block, tap it to the outside and reset. And we're gonna do 10 of those. So try to keep your body forward and engaged. Ready? 10, nine, Eight, I already feel this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold it up for three, two, one. Beautiful, place it down, move your block to the outside of your right ankle. And you know the drill, inhale to a long spine, point the toes so we're engaged through the legs, Keep your upper body lifted, navel in, and tap for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Bring a smile to your face if you're working it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold up for three, for two, for one, beautiful, lower your leg, put your block off to the side. And we are going to rock and roll all the way to standing. So roll back, roll up, all the way to mountain pose. Powerful mountain pose, so build this posture from the ground up, feet planted, knees lifted, core in. Long spine, long neck, inhale your arms up, Keep the ribs in. Reach up with the fingertips. Breathe space between each of the ribs. And then exhale your right arm down and back. Twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale twist to the left. Inhale, center. Shift your weight onto your left foot and inhale your right knee into your chest. Straighten your right leg. So knit your hip bones up towards your ribs, really engaging the core. And then rebend and find a tree pose without hands if you can. If you need to adjust your footing, that's totally fine. Prayer at your heart or behind your back. Just be open with the chest wherever you are. Our first balance pose of the day. So in all of our balance poses, we're going to want to find a dristi, which is a focus point with your eyes that's unmoving. It can be the floor or an object in front of you that you focus on, and that's really going to help you stabilize. So deep breaths here. Find the energy of your leg pushing into your foot and at the same time your foot pushing into your legs. 
Then without hands, see if you can come out. Try a figure four chair where your right ankle crosses over your left thigh. Flex that right foot for stability and sit deep. See if you can turn this into a little bit of a glute stretch. And then come out just a little bit. Both knees connect, your right foot pointed behind you. Shiva squat, stay for a breath. Inhale and exhale, step back, high crescent pose. Powerful here. <sighs> Breathe. And on your exhale, lower down without hands. The back knee drops, untuck the back toe. One breath here, sink the hips forward. And then try without hands to straighten the front leg. Toes flex back towards your face. We're gonna transition into gate pose here. So try to do this without hands by engaging the core and the inner thighs. We're gonna swivel our right foot off the mat to the left and then change our orientation to the long side of the mat. Once you're in gate pose, inhale to a long spine and then exhale, your left hand reaches over to the right side of the room. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach your right arm over to the left side of the room. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. One more time each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. Pause and center. Get your power, get your balance, and then shift back to half splits. Rebend in that front leg. Tuck the back toe, engage the core crescent. See if you can get your hips as low as your front knee. Straighten the back foot, reach the back heel towards the back of the room. And then exhale, both hands meet the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left foot, lower all the way down. Inhale to a cobra pose. Exhale through tabletop into downward dog. Beautiful. Paddle out your downward dog here. Explore. You know, this is a pose that we visit a lot in our classes. So today, really do a body scan here. Where do, what do you feel in your shoulders, in your neck, in your hamstrings, your hips? What do you feel in the arches of your foot, in your calves, in your side of your hips? Get curious here. Just tuning in. And then we'll inhale to, inhale to tiptoes. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tiptoes, stay, and take a lot of little baby steps to the top of your mat. Keep your tiptoes here. So we're in this forward fold position on our tiptoes at the top of our mat. See if you can maybe reach your right hand around your right heel. Maybe reach your left hand around your left heel. Maybe use your core to stabilize and engage. For three, two, one. Beautiful, lower with control. Roll all the way up. <sighs> Inhale your arms overhead and your left knee comes into your chest. Flex the foot for activation, and on your exhale, straighten your left leg. Knit your hip bones up towards your ribs. That's that core compression. For three, two, one. Come into tree pose, whatever variation suits you. Find your dristi, that focus point with your eyes, and find the energy of your foot pressing into your leg and your leg pressing into your foot, everything coming into your center line, and you are strong and sturdy. You can have prayer hands at your heart or behind your heart center.
one more breath. And then release tree, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, sit down deep into a figure four chair pose. Feel the stretch of the glutes, the power of your right leg. One breath in, one breath out. Come out of it just a little bit. Connect both knees, your left foot pointing back. Shiva squat, and then step back into crescent pose. Let your exhale sink you in a little bit deeper. Let your inhale reach energy up through your fingertips. On your next exhale, drop the back knee, untuck the back toe, sink the hips forward. Without hands or hands on mat, you can try this transition. Straighten your front leg, toes point back at your face, half splits. We're gonna take that same transition into gate. So see if you can engage your core, engage your inner thighs, almost as if your legs are like scissors closing. That's the tension that you want. And then shift your left foot off to the right side of the mat and point your chest towards the long edge of the mat. Gate pose, so inhale to that long spine. Exhale, your right arm comes over and reaches to the left side of the room. Inhale to center. Exhale, reach to the, the right side of the room. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach to the left. Inhale, reach to the right. One more time each side, inhale, center, exhale to the left, inhale, center, exhale to the right, inhale to center, engage the core, engage the feet and the knee on the ground, shift back into half splits, rebend the front leg into Anjane Asana, that low lunge, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, crescent, sink the hips low for three, for two, for one. Hands meet mat, step the right foot back to meet the left foot, lower all the way down, you can up dog or cobra, and exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. We're gonna get into our power sequence now. A little bit faster pace, a little bit more balance. So inhale your right leg up, pulses at the top. Squeeze the glutes for five, four, three, two, one. Stay in downward dog. Bring your knee into your nose. Big core compression. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then exhale, step it forward. Peel the right hand up, dragonfly. Come to fingertips on the left hand. Squeeze your inner thighs together like scissors closing. Maybe you float the left hand. Active dragonfly. Breathe. Beautiful, both hands plant, straighten both legs, wide-legged pyramid. We're gonna take pulses here. On your inhale, pop the back heel for five for four, for three, for two, for one. Rebend that front leg, float into crouching warrior. So your right leg is bent, left leg is straight, foot is flexed. Stay here, find your dristi, that balance with your eyes. And then dip your chest forward, your left leg comes up, standing splits, squeeze the glutes, pulse up for five, four, three, two, one. Come through, crouching warrior, stand all the way up, bring the left knee into your chest. Right hand, peace fingers, grab left big toe. You can keep it bent or straightened for dancing Shiva. Left hand stretches behind you. To advance, flip your gaze. Nice and slow, like moving through, honey. Beautiful. 
So we're gonna bend the right leg, keep the left leg straight and bring the left heel to the ground like a kickstand. Stretch through the left leg, that should feel good. Release the neck, breathe. Beautiful. Take the peace fingers of your left hand, this time wrap them around your big toe. Stand back up, glutes. Then release your toe, but keep your leg high. Beautiful. For two, for one, release both feet to the ground. Inhale, both arms lift. Exhale, swan dive. Forward fold, pull it in. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, well done. Inhale, your left leg up. Squeeze your glutes, pulses at the top for five, four, point the foot, three, two, one. Stay in downward dog, but bring your knee to your nose. Compression of the core. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze it up. And then exhale. Step it through. Peel your left hand up towards the sky. Dragonfly twist. Come to the fingertips of your right hand. Flirt with floating your right hand. Active dragonfly. Press into your feet. Breathe. Beautiful, both hands meet the mat, straighten both legs, pyramid pose, pulses with the back heel, inhale, pop up the heel for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Beautiful, rebend that front leg, float into crouching warrior. Right leg is straight behind you, foot is flexed, left leg is bent. Hold, find the dristy, powerful postures. And then sink your chest in, right leg raises for standing splits. Squeeze the glutes and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Active flexibility, beautiful. Bend into your left leg, come up to standing, bring the right knee into your chest. Left piece fingers wrap around the right big toe. Extend as much as you're comfortable with. Dancing Shiva, your right hand can peel open behind you. If you feel stable, slow like honey, shift your gaze behind you. Use your breath to bring you power. Let your breath nourish you. And then keep your right leg straight, bend through the left leg, all the way until your right heel is on the ground like a kickstand, stretch to that left or that right leg. Take a moment here. Allow yourself to catch your breath. Wrap your right piece fingers around your right toe. Come up to standing. Release your big toe, keep the leg in the air. For two, for one, beautiful. Both feet meet the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward, fold it in. Use the core to deepen. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. We're gonna do it one more time. Each side a little bit faster. You've got this, let's go. Inhale, right leg up, pulses for five, four, three, two, one, crunch your knee into your nose, stay in that downward dog, and step it forward. Peel your right hand up, come to fingertips. Float your left hand. Both hands, meet mat, straighten both legs, pop the back heel for five, four, three, two, 
One, bend through that front leg, crouching tiger. Back leg lifts. Dip the chest forward, standing splits. Pulse the left foot at the top for five, four, engage the core, three, two, one. Beautiful, stand up, bring the left knee into your chest. Right piece fingers, grab left big toe. Dancing Shiva, maybe you shift your gaze, maybe you stay here. Bring your navel into your spine. Lower by bending your right leg, kickstand with the left. Stretch through that left leg, take a moment. Beautiful. Wrap your left piece fingers around your big toe, bend into the right leg a lot, lift it up. Release your hand, keep the leg for three, two, one. Release the leg, inhale the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, fold it forward, use the abs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, shine the chest forward. Exhale, down dog. You got this, let's go. Left side, inhale, your left leg up. Pulses at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Crunch your knee into your nose and step it forward. Right hand stays planted, left hand peels up, dragonfly twist, come to fingertips on your right hand. Float your right hand, breathe. Exhale, both hands meet mat, straighten both leg, pop the back heel for five, four, three, two, one, well done. Bend the front leg, crouching tiger. Float your back leg up, back foot is flexed. Dip the chest forward, standing splits. Pulses with your right leg at the top for five. Point the toes for four, three, two, one. Come back into crouching tiger. Stand all the way up. Bring your right knee into your chest. Left piece fingers. Grab big toe. Extend your leg as much as you'd like. Dancing Shiva. Engage the core. Then bend the left leg and lower your right heel all the way down to the floor. Keep the right leg straight for a kickstand. Breathe. Wrap the right big toes or the right piece fingers around the big toe. Stand all the way up. Last time, make it count. Release the leg, but keep it high for three, two, one. Send the right leg back behind you. We're gonna open up into star pose and then wide-legged forward fold, let it fold in. I'm gonna turn towards you. So bring your energy towards your pinky toe so you don't slip or slide. And then find organic movements here. So maybe you shift your chest side to side. Maybe you crawl your hands over to the left. And over to the right. Or maybe you grab onto ankles or your arches and pull your chest towards the mat. Lengthening through the hamstrings, engage the core here. See how you can make this more active. Beautiful, inhale to a half lift. Pop the heels in, toes out. Sink your hips to the left, skindasana or side lunge. Keep a long, long spine here and we'll shift to the right. See if you can do this with no hands and keep your pelvic floor and core active here. Shift to the left, to the right. See if you can bring some energy into it. See if you can make it like the, an ocean wave. So to the left, to the right. Make it animalistic. To the left, to the right. One more time to the left. 
and this time is different. We're going to step up into Malasana, yogi squat at the top of our mat. Sink the hips low, long spine. And to make this pose active, don't use your elbows in your knees. So you're going to be up a little bit higher. Two deep breaths here, regulate. Keep your face neutral. Maybe a smile comes to your lips and your eyes. Your heart is open. You're bringing in your intention. Beautiful. You can stay here or you can lean forward and come into crow pose. If you are in crow, see if you can get your heels towards your glutes a little bit higher or straighten your arms a little bit more. You can stay there or you can come back. And I like to offer this option since we're so warm right now is to come into headstand. So setting up for headstand, you have the time. Engage the core, engage the glutes, full body. And if you are in headstand or you are coming into it, see if you can take a posture like bottom of the feet together. Konasana, or if you can take a wide-legged split and tap the right side of the mat and the left side of the mat. Or maybe you just hold an inversion and that is perfectly fine. If you are inverted or in crow or in malasana, sit your glutes onto your heels, child's pose. Take cleansing breaths here. Maybe rest a cheek on the mat so your breath goes sideways. And you're breathing in cool air. Two more breaths. Walk your hands back towards your body. Take a moment. Feel the energy pulsing through your body, your blood aerated from your big ocean breaths, the vitality that you feel. And then inhale both arms up. Exhale them down. Clasp hands or elbows behind your back for a chest stretch. Beautiful. A few more breaths here. And then release. And we'll set up for hero's pose. So just bring your heels on the outside of your thighs. If you have sensitive knees, put a block under your glutes. And then wherever you want to be today. So maybe that's on your hands. Maybe that's you coming down to your forearms. Take it easy, take it slow. Or maybe you come all the way down for a nice big quad stretch. Find ease here. Keep the face easy. Take it easy. For three. For two, relax the shoulders. For one. And if you are all the way down, take it super slow coming up. So come up to four arms. Take a breath. Come up to hands. Take a breath. And then reset. And we'll make our way onto our back. So lying all the way down, right leg straight, left knee into your chest, hug it in, and then bring your foot over to your right arm fold for reclined pigeon. And you can use your strap here for more accessibility, or you bring your right foot into your right elbow, excuse me, your left foot into your left elbow, and your left knee into your left elbow. Deep breaths here, slowing it down. 
letting our heart regulate, come back to resting, releasing our eyebrows, relaxing the space between our eyebrows. And then come into a half happy baby on the left side. And we'll find a little bit more activity here. So half happy baby. Then stretch your leg out long, leading with the heel so your toes are flexed back at your face. And then point your toes. Half happy baby. Straighten with the heel. And point your toes. Half happy baby. Straighten with the heel. Point your toes. One last time and we'll hold it. So happy baby. Straighten with the heel. And point your toe. Hold. For three. For two. For one. Release your left leg down. Inhale your right knee into your chest. Give it a nice little squeeze. Give it some love and gratitude. Thank you. And then set up for reclined pigeon on the right with your strap or cradling your leg in your arms. Regulate your breathing here. So if thoughts come in, see if you can breathe deeper and come right back here. Beautiful, come into that half happy baby on the right side. Straighten your leg with the heel. Your foot is flexed and then point the toe. Half happy baby. Straighten with a flex and point the toe. Half happy baby. Straighten with the heel and point the toe. The last one, we'll hold this. Half happy baby. Straighten with the heel. And then point and hold. For three, two, one. Beautiful. Bring both knees into the chest. We're going to do our last bit of act. Activity. So really squeeze the knees into the chest, flex the feet, the toes come towards the face, engage the core, engage the glutes, engage the hips, really sink your head in towards your neck, everything is activated, you're turning into the most little ball you can, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all the energy out, and relax, Shavasana, take up space, be heavy. Relax the face, relax the jaw, release breathing.
gently and sweetly come back into your body touch your fingertips gently to your fingertips wiggle your toes roll out your wrist roll out your ankles stretch long like a cat reach your arms overhead and exhale over to your favorite side fetal position use your hands as pillows keep the eyes closed down a few breaths here let it be easy let it be loving And then come up to an easy seat. Keep the eyes closed down here. <clears throat> Bring your right hand to your navel, your left hand to your heart. <sighs> the light in me recognizes the same light in you. Namaste, friends. I hope that you enjoyed this powerful active flexibility yoga class. If you are looking for more power yoga practices like this, there are some in the description. There are also longer cool downs if you need a little bit more. And if you're looking for a seven day challenge to really kickstart your practice or find just a structure for your practice, there's a free seven day challenge in the description as well. Much love. I'll practice with you soon.